Are you ready for another craft or craft challenge where you get to decide if our projects are craft or craft? Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today I have another edition of Craft or Crap, where I take on Chaz from Chaz's Crazy Creations. This month, we're taking on the epic yard art showdown. The rules for this project were skewers, yard art, and something used. Those are the things that had to be included in the project. And we have a generous giveaway sponsored by Karen Thomas Designs, and I'm gonna tell you all about it at the end of the video so stay tuned for that you don't want to miss it be sure to watch my project let me know if it's craft or crap and then hop on over to Chaz's and let her know if her project is craft or crap so let's get started I ran out to Dollar Tree and I found my skewers and then I also found this perfect fan I have this doll that's been in my craft room for a while I have this ornament this outdoor plastic ornament that I garbage picked probably about 20 months ago or so now it's a mess. It's this thing has seen better days. I have a Dollar Tree fan and skewer sticks. So here's our previously used item and the skewer sticks. I want to open this hole up a little bit more so that this dowel will fit into it. As long as it fits in there, we're good. I'm going to treat this because this is obviously not made for outdoors. But I'm going to treat it with a penetrating epoxy just so that if I stick it into the ground, it's not going to rot. Once I get this all the way in there, it's a pretty good length to be able to shove into the ground. So I will preserve this whole thing. I don't even need to cut it down. Now we need to get to the nitty gritty of it. I need to clean this off so I can um, spray paint it. Now there's some old glitter on there. If that stays on there, I don't care. It'll just give it some texture. So that's not a problem. I'm just using some rubbing alcohol to get it clean. Clean as it's going to get. Found the fan at Dollar Tree, which is actually great for the heat, but we are going to use it in garden art. I have not told you what we're making yet, but I'm going to cut this as best I can. All right, here we go. Now we have pieces that are still attached to the fabric. So I'm gonna just pull that fabric right off, one by one, which is actually easier than I expected it to be. There we go. I'm gonna turn this into a sun. Now that I have them apart, they are gonna create the rays, that and the skewer sticks. So we're gonna have a combo of both. I'm gonna have to start poking holes in here. I have my Dremel. I'm gonna drill some holes in here. I don't think this is a drill bit. This looks more like, I don't know. I'm sure I'm using the wrong bit and somebody will make fun of me, which is fine. Um, but I'm gonna do it. You can't help it. Somebody uses your stuff and can't find your bits. The skewer stick will fit through here, so that's good. I gotta get these guys in there. So I need to go a little wider. I took my Dremel and went around the whole ornament and I made the wider holes first for the rays from the fan. I have all the holes in here for my fan blades. Not too bad, right? Good start, not too bad. Now I have to work in the skewer sticks. And now I'm gonna just drill the holes in between, right in the middle of each of these, and then we're gonna attach everything. So that's what I did. I took the Dremel and I just drilled in between each of the other ones, just so that I would have a place to put the skewers. Okay, so I'm hoping I don't even have to cut these skewers down. Look at that. It's coming together. I'm going to mix this JB Weld Clear Weld. It goes on to plastic and wood and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I need. And it's a quick two-parter. You just squish out even amounts, close it up, and then just mix it, mix it, mix it. Here, see, it's nice and clear. Then I'm going to take another skewer stick just add some of this around each of the skewer sticks. It just needs a little bit. It's pretty fast curing too. I think it cures pretty quickly, but I might not paint until tomorrow. Oopsie. Okay, now I'm gonna stick this one in. So you wanna kind of make sure you position everything the way you want. I am going to put a little bit on these because the holes are a little bit bigger. 
but just a little bit on the stems so they get into the right place and then add it around. Okay, so some of these I'm gonna try to support. And while that's happening, I'm going to take the dowel out there and put some penetrating epoxy on there so that can cure and I can paint that at the same time I can paint all of this stuff. I'm about to paint my sun and I just grabbed whatever spray paint I had. I had Rust-Oleum, a Rust-Oleum red and gloss and a yellow and gloss also. And I stuck it in a box so that I could paint it upright and then it could dry that way too. The glitter on here is obviously not gonna shine after I paint it, but it'll give it a cool texture. And again, I just used whatever paint I had on hand and they both happen to be gloss. And as long as they went onto plastic and good for outdoors, that's really all I cared about. I did epoxy the dowel rod into the ornament also for a little extra strength. Now I'll take a little bit of the red and then I'll go over it with the yellow again. So the paint and the adhesives that I'm using should be good to withstand outside. If you're living someplace where it gets cold, I would recommend that you actually bring it in in the winter time because I would imagine that if things could start cracking and stuff like that just with the plastic I don't know I kind of like a little bit of red in there so I think I'll add a little bit of red it is 90 degrees here it is a hot fireball of a sun so we might as well reflect that right okay I'm gonna put a finish on here which I wasn't really planning on it but I'm going to do the Rust-Oleum Triple Thick Glaze. It is for indoor and outdoor. I thought it was not, but it is. So here it goes. I hope you like the sun yard art that I made. It was so fun to make. And be sure to let me know if you think it is craft or crap. Also, if you want to get featured in a future episode of Craft or Crap, I have a link in the description that tells you exactly how to do that. Now for the giveaway. Karen Thomas Designs is giving away a mystery box valued at $50 to one lucky winner. And it could be you. Be sure to hop over to Karen Thomas Designs and check out all the beautiful beads and kits that she has and let her know down in the comments below what you would love to see in the mystery box should you win and that's not all in addition she has created a coupon code exclusively for craft or craft challenge viewers and it's ten dollars off an order of fifty dollars or more and that code is craft 10 and that's not all and with your first order she also includes a beautiful gift bag of beads she sent me one to show you it included a little makeup brush and this bag, this cute little bag of beads. And I wanna show you some of these beads. Mine has a purple theme, so pretty. These are so, so pretty. As usual, we have multiple ways to enter and you'll find that over on my blog and I have that link down in the description. So check that out and then when you get there, check out the, the post and then at the bottom, you will find how to enter the giveaway. Whatever you get from her, I'm sure you're going to love it. I love everything on her website, so I'm sure you're going to love whatever you get. Now hop on over to Chaz's video and check that out. Remember, life's too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter, and I will see you over there.